No, it, uh, it wasn't Kenya Moore's hair care, but she has a great product too, but it wasn't. We haven't been using Kenya Moore's hair care. Oh yeah, I said her product is a lot. And this was the dress I wore when I unfortunately um, got into a hair altercation with somebody. Like, and I damn sure wasn't supposed to be trying to be dragging nobody. And said, you said can't see. I'm gonna have to be like Kenya, put my, Please my don't color have. contacts on. They said What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vienna Entertainment News. <laughs> Shut up, Chady. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Watch the previous video for Kenya laughter to make sense. I'm also going to include the link in the description below for those of you who missed it. However, I'm only including the laughter in here just to let you know that just understand through all of the madness and everything that's going on on social media, the woman who's being dragged and attacked and all of that, this is her reaction. At more Manor, laughing, raising her daughter, not on social media dragging anybody, not on Instagram going back and forth for free. And when it comes <laughs> reunion time, she's gonna go to the reunion, do her job, get her check, and go home. So keep that in mind as you listen to the video and my reaction. If Kenya Moore, who's being dragged all over social media, is not reacting in an aggressive way, but just keep this video in mind that Kenya is the total opposite. She's at peace, she's happy, she's laughing, she's raising a durable Brooklyn and life is good. Let's get into it. Child, when even the mama is getting involved with the shade and the color contacts. Okay, Mama Diane. <laughs> you know you are that. What Beyonce say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely a queen for for you to cause this much that even the moms are getting involved in the shade throwing. Okay, but anyways. I decided to include a few seconds of what happened in Porsche Instagram Live at the beginning, just so you guys know the talking points of the video and what to expect. Now, before I shut up and allow you to listen to the longer version of the Instagram Live and what Portia had to say, I do want to say for those of you who love Portia, rock with her heavy, and you missed the Instagram Live, Portia was on live with her mom. Well, she started by herself and her mom joined her, but she was on there for almost an hour and I recorded the entire thing. So if you are interested in watching the entire Instagram live for almost an hour of Portia and her mom, now say what you wanted for Portia. She do have funny moments, funny stories and all of that. They talked about, you know, she and Dennis still being together, you know, her mom still living with them after a year because they don't want her to leave because she's helping up with Bular. They had a lot of great moments and talking points and fun moments. I did my best to include a few of them in this video, but the focus was what was said about Kenya Moore, social media reaction, and the reason why I decided to take those parts of the video and talk about it, okay? If you want that video all by itself, I can do that for you. Just let me know in the comments, okay? Hi, everybody. Here's the deal. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to reunion, but um, I'm home and I have some dresses here. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but being in quarantine, I don't want to spend no money. I'm really not trying to sit up and spend no thousands of dollars on a dress. So I, what I'm thinking right now is that I have something in my closet. Like I have worn something that was not on Instagram. I mean, I have bought something that was not on Instagram that 
was not on the red carpet. I have to have a gown somewhere. So long. Yep. Oh my God. Look at this. This happened during quarantine. Somebody else's chin is on my face, bitch. Ah! Somebody else's chin. Oh my God. You gotta watch my angle. Oh, that's better. Let me tell you what I'm thinking about giving. Like, I feel like because you're home, I could go super casual, but which is what I'll do if I can't find nothing. But I also feel like you should just kind of give glam in your home environment. So this is one. It's an oldie but goodie. But I feel like around the time this came out, everybody might have worn it. You know what I mean? I feel like. Okay. Then we have this one. She is gorgeous. I don't know if y'all recognize this one. Um, I happened to pull it out the other day because when I was on Watch What Happens Live, he wanted to do something called the vault. And so he had us pull out dresses and or like something that, that people will remember from Housewives history. And this was the dress I wore when I unfortunately um, got into a hair altercation with somebody so um but anyway new day new love i'm, I'm about love now for and um but anyway i still have it and i only wore it for like five minutes and he suggested and or at least i think he did that i wear it again and so anyway i'm gonna see if i can fit it still i don't know if i can because i was really small that reunion because coco and chanel were brand new and that's how I know I was really skinny because when I when I got really small I was like I want to be small with big titties and I went and got Coco and Chanel and I wore this dress they were fresh like I literally only had them like for weeks I was not even supposed to like be out of the house for real for real when I was at that reunion but anyway um so <laughs> I wasn't I really wasn't like and I damn sure wasn't supposed to be trying to be dragging nobody but um anyway so this I just what I wanted to show y'all real quick my mom's hair like let me show y'all we've been we've been working on hair how long maybe like two years yeah since yeah, uh, 217 yeah I mean 2017 yeah 2017 you my 265 fans what you got uh, don't shame me mm -hmm. <laughs> you see that I'm your mama okay so um <laughs> Yeah, since 2017, anyway, she's been working on her real hair. I don't know why, because she loves to wear wigs just like me. All but the time. She just wanted to see what her hair could do, I guess. Oh, I'm sweaty. Right. So this is the length of mommy's hair as of right now. This low down her back. Break them through. Sorry, you don't want wanted me to show it. You don't want wanted to show it. You wanted me to show it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um... Her hair is past her ass, and so I will be, we'll get the magic potion probably out. We'll get it out soon, but y'all know me. I got to do stuff right, so I ain't going to just be rolling it out any kind of way, um, and I'll show y'all my hair too, because my, my hair is, well, it's super kinked up right and now, everybody but, know when but you my cut hair is to here. Yeah. Everybody know when you cut your hair Yeah, off. they already know I cut my hair all the time, but anyway, my hair is about to here already, but um, so when we get ready to release all that, we'll show y'all, but... Thick. No, it, uh, it wasn't Kenya Moore's hair care, but she has a great product too, but it wasn't. We haven't been using Kenya Moore's hair care. Um, oh, yeah, I said her product is a lie. I don't know. I have, haven't used it to do a review on it. But anyway, staying positive, guys. We are in quarantine. Y'all cannot be negative in quarantine. Any reads will be saved for the reunion, bitch. Oh, that's right. As we got to, um, oh, look at poop. Look at poop. She don't feel good, y'all. Look at poop. She poo -poo. has a little fever. Look, she has a fever. Um, is mama mixed? No, mama is black on black on black, honey. Bliggity bliggity black. That's black we mama are, and black papa. Yeah, we are all we are all African American. African American women's hair grows. You know what I'm saying? We it, it does. Oh yeah, no, that is this Believe is that. this is like r real black hair. It's not mixed hair. Should have had hair. a drink. She probably said real nigga hair. Oh stop! <laughs> you know I don't talk like that. <laughs> And said, you said, can't see. I'm going to have to be like Kenya, put my, my color have, contacts on. They said, I went over, the other day I walked over to Nene's house. She said that we could work outside by her pool and stuff. So we all three, all of us, now we could all work sound out. good. Yeah, pool like a nice view. Good. I can get into that one. And she might even let us put her toes in it. Look. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not these on raggedy toes. My nails. I'm um, snaking and got her. Say that, Mommy. You can't say that on live. Well, we did it for each other. She no, just ain't got the money. No, but you can't tell them what I do. What I did. They have to have somebody come over here. Mommy. Mommy. You can't tell people that. Oh my God. Stop. Her nails and her feet, and Dennis too. Mommy, I would not give her a damn bit of more my drink. No, you know what? Let me turn this camera. <laughs> Mommy, they're going to be talking about me. This must be a secret. This must be like them is press on. <laughs> she ordered a hundred. Little fever, yeah. so I need to run to the store and get her some Tylenol. As promised, I did leave some funny part in there, okay? It's nice to see Portia and her mother relationship, you know, and all of that. I think the reason why you have people, well, some people on social media that are so angry, I have some of the comments on the screen. I'm not even going to read it out loud. I mean, some of them were worse than this, and I decided to just post these and not post anymore because they were going in on Porsche it's the fact that even though I'm not freaking out about this okay she talked about the dress shady Andy you know suggested the dress you know and what's new what's new guys I mean what's new okay when the show celebrated 10 years of being on air of all of the positive things these black women did on that show, guess what the number one moment was? The top memorable moment that Bravo chose for the decade. The moment that another black woman sat on the stage. She said some disgusting things towards Kenya Moore and her eggs and all of that. And that's what the white men and whoever else that was there, black, whatever other color, chose as the number one moment, okay, of the decade. That beautiful woman today have an adorable and a beautiful daughter that people cannot stop talking about. She comes on the screen, you see her in pictures, and she just lights up everybody's face, okay? Exactly. So... I don't know why anybody is shocked that Annie would joke about a dress and one Porsche to wear a dress where she physically assaulted a black woman. That's what they do. They don't care if y'all jump on each other. They don't care if y'all drag each other. They don't care if y'all destroy each other as long as y'all not destroying them. And that's why Phaedra is not there because she said a producer at Bravo told her when you mess with them and you drag them in your mess, that's when it becomes a problem. But as far as all of you, y'all can continue to make a fool out of yourselves and those white people don't care over there. All y'all doing is making them rich. <laughs> they don't care. Oh no, go to Portia. Um, Instagram. She was on Watch What Happens Live and while they were setting up and Andy was trying to introduce his son and they were saying by Ashy, that's what he chose to use towards Pular. Joking or not, so I don't know why anybody is surprised. He hates the ground that Kenya Moore walks on. Then her mother didn't have to say that. Her mother could have simply said I can't see. I need glasses. Why does she have to say something about Kenya? Why does she think it was appropriate to drag Kenya name in it? Right? Okay. And then more hair here. Why the Porsche feel the feel the need to read out loud that Kenya Moore products is a lie? When she had the option to ignore, she had a lot of questions and a lot of compliments and beautiful things, but that's what she chose to read aloud. So the reason why people are upset and blowing this up and making a big deal is because this is the same woman who face looked like this because Kenya Moore said she may have texted her. 
She didn't cuss this girl mama out. She didn't say nothing wrong. Kenya just simply said she may have text me. This was Portia Faze. Now she changed the whole story around and said Kenya said she may have called her first. She goes to Nini, tell Nini a lie and all of that. She may have is probably going to backpedal and try to throw Kenya under the bus. We shall see on Sunday. My thing is, this is why people are going so hard at Portia. Because you can't make a big deal out of little things. But then when you do something like this, you want people to chill. Another reason why people are coming for Portia so hard about all of this, it's because they feel like, you know, she understands her audience and she play her audience well. You don't like Kenya. We know. But it's the nice nasty that people don't like. I'm going to shade Kenya, but I'm going to pretend like I'm on bother. So I'm going to say, ah, 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 we are love and light over here. Save the read for the reunion. I have not used her products. I'm sure her products are great. After you say out loud on your live that, oh, they say her product a lie. You know what I'm saying? So I understand guys, but my thing is the reason why I'm not going in on Portia and dragging Portia and doing all of this is what's new <laughs> i mean we've heard worse so what's new but there you have it i just did this video as a little proof that i just did this video as a little proof that yes Porsche have joined um the instagram live audience as it relates to talking about kenya so to me Mm, nothing to see here same old different day just add it to the list <laughs> i mean how many instagram live have i posted of nini milo kim zozi like, and everybody else dragging kenya just add Portia to the list and then when kenya turn around and say something then oh my god she's wrong she came for Portia and her mother but honestly whether kenya wear contacts or not was that really necessary from Portia mom? Portia mom couldn't simply just say, I need glasses I can't see. Did she really have to mention Kenya more name? Can you see how like disgusting it is? Like, did you really have to mention her name? Man, you know, I understand. And that Kenya have a job to do. And because of her job, she would probably respond and defend herself and gave Portia a storyline. But I just wish she was able to just pay her dust. Let Portia work for her storyline. Like, basically, say to Andy, Andy, look, Portia, Portia, listen, you're going to have to work for your storyline, baby. You're not going to get it from me. I know that you are still engaged or probably married, but you're still looking for your wedding special. Yeah, focus on that, sweetheart. I wish you and Dennis the best. Yes. Next case. That would be my response. And let Portia sit there and reach and reach and reach. And each time, I will pay her dust and let her look desperate like Nene. Like, honestly, I would not be giving any of these girls no more storyline. You did that for Tanya. And the moment Kenya started paying Tanya dust and no longer want to talk about it, Where's Tanya? Tanya is just there. It's left. But since Kenya basically showed that, girl, I don't care. I've moved on. Whatever happened, happened. Crickets. Tanya is just there. Nene. All of the all of the girls been reaching. Cha. Even her own friends been throwing her on the bus. Kenya more even breed and she makes the news. So this is absolutely nothing different. And like I said, I'm not surprised that Andy was involved. I mean, then again, it's coming from Portia. I didn't see it. It's coming from Portia. You know, Portia always remix her stories. That's that. And there's no hate here for Portia, guys. Did she say those things in the video? Yes. Did her mom talk about Kenya? Yes. Did she pull up the dress? Yes. When you are speaking facts, that's not hate. So 
that's that. I'm wishing Portia the best. I'm praying for Pilar. I hope she feels better. You know, Portia, you already know what's going on, girl. And your mom just threw you under the bus by bringing someone at your house to do your nails. I'm not saying anything is wrong over there at the house. I'm sure Portia was very careful. I don't have to insert any videos in here of Kenya Moore hairstylist doing the exact same thing Portia just did. I have posted countless of videos. You don't see all of the videos. This is no competition. Whatever hair care product Portia and her mom is coming up with, congratulations to them. My apologies for being repetitive, but I'm gonna close it out by saying in this video with Kenya and her assistant, her interior designer of Moore Manor, and also her stylist, Cheney, okay in this video people told her to unfollow Portia people asked her why she did what she did to Tanya people had different things to say but she chose to focus on the positive comments because there were a lot of them so she responded to the person who said she was beautiful she said thank you the person who asked who the guy was I just told you who he is okay he's a friend um, and one of Kenya employees they asked her where Brooklyn was. She explained that if you watch that video, you will see all of that. So no one is saying that Portia is not free to answer any questions she wants to. And I'm not saying Kenya doesn't come on Instagram live, period. I'm just saying that majority of the time, she's now on Instagram live. And when she come on Instagram live to talk to her supporters, she is not on there dragging people and arguing and going back and forth with people for free. Like for example, the question about Tanya, that was Kenya perfect moment to jump on that and start some internet mess with Tanya, but she completely ignored it and chose to answer the positive questions and engage with her supporters. So anyways, I am wishing all of you the best, be safe, Take care of yourselves. You're all lifted in my prayers. I'm wishing Portia and her family the best. And I'm also wishing Kenya the best. At the end of the day, it is what it is, man. And then here my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.